Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back with another video. And if you have been seeing news lately, you might have heard the term or the news that entire internet was being under attacked. Entire internet or half of the internet was down. So how is even that possible? How can an entire internet be under attack? Half of that get downs out there. Answering all these questions in this movie, let's go on. So if you have been seeing the news lately, it was pretty scary incident that the half of the internet got down. Major websites like GitHub, Heroku, Reddit, maybe PayPal was under attack. And this was not just, not just ordinary attack. It was pretty massive, pretty powerful. And the attack went through for more than five hours. And this means a loss of billions and billions of revenue out there. This is scary, but how this actually happened? So this was happened because of a DDoS attack or distributed denial of service attack. I'll not go much into the technical terms of that, how this was carried out, what was, what was the bot that carried out, how the bots are being coded out there. No, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna explain everything as in the layman terms. So let's try to understand first of all, what is DYN DNS service? DNS means domain name service, or some call it as domain name servers. What does the domain name service does? It just transforms an IP into the equivalent name and the name into equivalent IP. Now you and I understand the facebook.com or the reddit.com, but for the computers and servers, it's just an IP, maybe IP6, IP4, or tons of others as well. So they just understand these things. When we make a request that, hey, I want to go onto a facebook.com website, they just say, hey, you know what? What is this facebook.com? We don't understand that. So the DNS transformed that request into an IP and just serves us the websites back into the facebook.com form. And that's what all is happening. Now, in order to get these services, we have a service named as DNS. And yes, there are a couple of servers. There is not just one server like DNS. We have master, slave, backup, cache, couple of these servers. Let's not go into that depth. But yes, these are the services which help us to provide these kinds of solution. And Yes, this was the point which was the target attack out there. And how was the attack being made? What is this DDoS attack? Now DDoS attack simply is a denial of service. You are not allowed to take the service or the server is not allowed to give the service to the people. Now that doesn't sound really bad, but what happened actually is the server is being made, let's just call an arbitrary figure of, let's just say a million requests. And if you'll just serve 10 million requests onto that server, you know, server is gonna say, hey, I'm not gonna work. Let's just leave it. So server is eventually gonna wrap up and bind up and is gonna shut to all the services out there. Yes, the server coders or the people who manages all these requests usually use multi-threadings and a lot of such server request and management, all these things, but still there is a limitation for all of these things. There is always a high end number. And in the DDoS attacks, when the requests are being made more than which is expected out there, eventually the server gets shut down. Now this is not an usual case out there because this time the attack was heavily planned and heavily implemented out there. So how did, how did that actually happen? It was happened and again, these are all resources, I'm not making up anything. Now according to the official tweets, it was a severe vulnerability in the IoT, the Internet of Things. You know, a lot of things are using Internet now, your smart TVs, your printers and everything. So eventually, with some resources, a bot was being designed as well and was implanted for over months into these kinds of IoT devices. And recently, the bot was being activated and everybody was sending the DNS request out there, eventually making a flood over the server. And eventually, the server got crashed. And why it was so bad? Because the IPs were not being converted into the name and names were not being converted into IPs. Eventually, the websites were not being served. This doesn't mean that the websites were not under attack. Eventually, on some way, yes, they were under attack, but the website data was completely secure. You were completely secure. The link which was connecting you into the website was actually attacked and that's why the websites are not being served. And when the things are not being served, it gets a lots of revenue loss, millions of revenue. If, imagine the PayPal was not active or let's just say the Amazon was not active for let's just say a two days, how much revenue they are gonna lose. And the developer might be completely familiar with the term when I say Heroku was under attack. I feel your pain because I was also doing the same. I was nodding my head and I was just screaming over it because Heroku was not working. And the developers who are with me are 
are working with other some big scale application know that when we talk about the an attack on the Heroku or the Cloud9 or the Amazon Web Server, it's it's kind of a massive. Everything is dependent on these three, four technologies out there. Not talking about the giants like Facebook, which are holding their own servers, but a lot of application use Heroku and eventually Heroku was attacked. So a lot of web applications were not being served. Yes, people on the DNS uh, services like DYN were are taking now steps, good steps to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future, but hackers are getting smart over days and so is the protecting guys who are protecting us with that. So this was the whole story which was going all around out there and I thought I need to come out and explain that so that everybody can understand what is happening and was it kind of a panicking situation for you or the developers or for the website guys. So this was all about it. Now let me know your thoughts. What is your thought about uh, the DNS attacks or the IoT attacks and uh, what you are thinking about it. Let me know in the comment section. If you are new on to this channel, make sure that you hit this red button that says subscribe and also do hit the like button, share the movie if you want or if you think that this information needs to be shared out. Okay, with this, this is Satesh and see you out there in the next movie.